Welcome back, people of the internet. Another day, another test, a firmware build. One year eight, Android 16, the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. Just days, days before the final Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 7 Ultra, whatever they're gonna call it. I'm joking, but who knows? It may end up as being a real good product. But why does this matter to what I'm showing you in this video? Because first things first, with the Z Fold Ultra, or whatever they're gonna call it, Samsung are going to announce the One UI 8 based on Android 16. Okay, it's gonna be the stable version. And in the past few months, we've been testing internal test firmwares, internal beta builds, internal stable builds, even that was the previous video I did. And now, days before the, the stable One UI 8, we have another firmware, guys. It's the BYG1. But guys, Bear in mind, if you want to install this, you can go to XT. I'm going to leave a link down below in the commands. This thing here, right, you see the U5. This is the bootloader version. So you have to be very careful with this because the previous version was U4 or version 4, which means that if you install this, you are not able to roll back to something else that has, right, that should have at least the version 5. And right now, we don't have One UI 7 built with the version for U4 of the bootloader, right? So this is still a testing. There are some new things. Some people on the internet are saying that this is the smoothest ever One UI 8 and etc. So in this video, I wanna show you how this thing really works. So I just installed it some hours ago and the only thing actually I did with this was running the Good Guardians, okay? I did not enter my recovery to delete my cache. So the only thing I went was here, Galaxy A Booster, and I did that, all right? few minutes ago, probably one hour ago. So what are the new changes? Because believe it or not, there are new changes. The Android security password level is still the same from the 1st of July, guys. But of course, the build number is different. Not only this, but I do believe that Ice Universe mentioned this on X. This build here, the BYG1, has an updated kernel version. But let me show you something. This was the previous build. I was using the BYFB, which was considered to be the internal stable build. And yes, it was certified for some days and now it's not this thing here, also not certified guys. So certification and test build, it might work, it might not work. You can do some things like clear cache and wipe the cache from the recovery. But at the end of the day, guys, it is internal test firmware. Let's see here, the BYFB used the kernel version 6.657 and now the latest firmware, BYG1, updated the version to 6.677, right? But before you might think, oh my God, you know, a crazy new update. Hey, this is the Linux kernel, right? So this thing is used to control a lot of the things. It runs courtings basically on the Linux operating system. And by just getting a new version, it doesn't really mean that, hey, you know, everything's gonna be now absolutely flawless and new. Why do we get some updates of the kernel? It might be related to security because kernel updates can include patches. If let's say there are some flaws, right, that have been discovered, usually this can be addressed via security patches or via kernel patches. There could be also some bug fixes, you know, if let's say certain things are working um, not so stable or say some crashes or whatever or sometimes of course sometimes also kernel updates can optimize the performance guys so it, in theory yes it can it can help your phone or your system to run faster and of course there are all the other things like hardware support and stuff like this but besides this guys there are new exciting updates not only to the kernel let me show you this was the one year home i was using on the previous version the byfb and as you can see the home version was 17000139 now in this version, guys, Samsung also did update the One UI Home. It's 17000141. And of course, there are other new things. The gallery version of my previous build was 15700038. All right. Now let's check this one. How, how do we do this? You go here inside menu, you go to settings, and then here, guys. So the version now is 15700039. And yes, as always, all new good things come always in three. So the third thing is the camera. My previous camera version was 16.0.0.35. Let's check this one here. All right, this is my camera up on um, this version. We click here, we go and check the settings about camera, 
037. So guys, you can see that Samsung updated not only the kernel, but they also updated the main launcher, the One UI Home, right, which is your default launcher. They also updated the version of the gallery, and they also updated, guys, the version of the camera, which only means that we are very close, hopefully, in the next few days to get a stable One UI 8. And now, the biggest question of them all is, how good is this new build? I've seen some people around next saying, hey, you know, this is by far the craziest, the smoothest. But hey, we've been there, we played it game since so many years right now. So, let me just give you a demo, all right? Right now, guys, I'm going to close all my applications, and we're gonna be starting with the very first thing that I always do, and this is testing this animation. All right, very nice. Very flawless. Now guys, the first big test is to just turn the phone like this and see if finally, finally, this animation is gonna be smooth. Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> okay, you know, it is, it is not, it's not ideal, but it's better than I expected, guys, because this animation in all my previous tests, starting from one year, I, who know which version? Yeah, this was actually bad. Okay, this one seems to be good, all right? Rotation, not a big issue. Okay, so now I'm gonna place the phone here and we're gonna be exploring here the blur, right? How is the blur working? Quite nice, right? No issues, no stutters here. This is my new control center. This is expanded, right? This is collapsed. Okay, what about going to the left? Yeah, not bad. This is Google Now, my discovery feed. Not that bad at all. Going right will reveal, of course, all my other screens. And by the way, if you have kids, don't give your phones to kids. They will install a bunch of useless games. Now, where is my app drawer? Just need to do like this. All right. Very nice. Very smooth, by the way. Tons of apps. Let me try to search for volume. I'm doing this on purpose, guys, because in one of the many beta and internal test firmwares, there has been some new things. And I did all these videos about them. So if you want to just go and follow the history on what was there, what not, you can do this. Okay, we are here, we can enter from here. Okay, also predictive gestures do work, which is absolutely nice and fantastic, guys. So do we have the new features from the BYFB, reading aloud? <laughs> the... Have a good day. Okay. Hope your day is going as planned. The now brief. Severe weather alert. Yeah. Moderate warning for high temperature from MON12. Okay, this thing is here as well. How is the animation, by the way, guys? You can see. It is really, really very nice. Very fluid. Everything just zooms in and out. Absolutely not an issue at all. This is what I can call perfection in a sense of one UI. What about the weather? 39 Celsius. Don't go out. It's crazy. Okay, this is the weather. All right. One of the best weather apps. What is the animation? Just like that. Okay. Well, let me try to test some of the other widgets because you know the problem with Spotify, right? Yeah, it's, I don't think it's a Samsung issue. So, this is Netflix. Let's start playing, minimizing. One more time. Okay, weather. Yep, expanding, minimizing. Okay, we have this in the now bar. Okay, let's try to open X. Why do I want to do this, guys? Because now I can show you, right? I think they changed the transparency when this thing goes out and in. You can see, boom, so smooth. Yeah, this is what I wanted to check, guys. So I can do like this and click here, and it's going to work. This will go like this. Now I'm going to go to the lock screen. Very nice. The new beautiful fonts are here. Okay, the new beautiful cutout is here. Yep. You, can I? What the, what? Yeah, this is so cool that you're able to control things directly on your always on. And yes, of course, this is going to consume more battery, I guess, if you use always on, but who cares? Yeah, it's a big phone, big battery. Can I put it back? Okay, for a reason, not really. All right, let me just go on the lock screen. Always on. Okay, now I'm not able, oh, I am able. Okay, so I can actually stop it, I cannot play it back anyway. Who cares? This is how it looks like. You can see it's nice. And then down below, guys, I have all my other things like the DND mode, etc. So now, how about changing things on the wallpaper, guys? Let's just do like this. This, by the way, is the new clock style, all right? And you can see, by the way, this is new because, yeah, now 
it will actually try to understand what you have on the background as a wallpaper and it will allow you to yeah, navigate it around so I can put it here, I can put it there, I can make it big, I can make it like this, eh, you know, I only wish that they finally add the depth effect. You can, of course, get there with using Lockstar or let's say with also using Wonderland, but I just want this to be absolutely stuck, right? And by the way, we have this uh, new auto colors. You can see now I'm on auto, but if I just do like this, it's gonna change everything, okay? And now, what about wallpapers, guys? Let me just try to put something else. Yep, the new suggested images are there, which means that the phone will tell me, hey, I can do this or that on your wallpapers. Why? Well, you know what? Let's just use that picture. Right, so now what I can do here, actually basically nothing because there is no object for me to hide, but I'm gonna try another one. So let me just go back and edit the lock screen. I'm gonna try to select wallpapers again. I'm gonna enter here in the gallery. I'm gonna enter here and yeah okay let's use the dock here all right yeah it's not ideal because you can see and changes are applied also yeah but now okay we have a cut out of the dock so this will do it automatically let's try to edit this because i don't really like that one so let's just go and edit another one suggested images something that i can use okay you know what let me use this one here this is a stunning image all right and Okay, I'm gonna do it like that. And I'm gonna have like a very big clock. Okay, it's probably just like that, all right? This is gonna be cool. So now my changes are on the lock screen. Okay, so this is it, guys. This is the always on. Very beautifully, this is the lock screen. Boom, now I'm entering there. And now, perhaps the biggest question. How good is the new BYG1 update? Is it really so smooth as many people claim online? And this is now the moment of truth, guys. I'm gonna close everything. I'm gonna try to clear all my notifications, all right? See here. And now I'm gonna open X, all right? Opening X, scrolling, closing, all right? Battery smooth, you can see, like no luck whatsoever. But guys, come on, let's be real. This is Snapdragon 8 Elite, right? We don't really expect anything else. So now, very important, let me open Instagram. Why important, guys? Because now, the moment I go to left, yeah, even this animation wasn't that bad. Because see, guys, there is something, by the way, when you're scrolling through your feed, you're getting 120 hertz refresh rate. You know what? Let me actually show you how this works. I'm gonna go inside the developer's option and I'm gonna search for refresh rate. So now I'm going to enable this. And now you can see, I am in the menu, right, 120. Okay, now I'm not touching the phone. For some reason, yeah, the value is not there. But if I go on my home screen, I'm going to be 120. If I open Instagram, I'm going to use 120. But when I invoke the viewfinder, right, it's going to go automatically to 60. And I do believe that going from 120 hertz refresh rate to 60, guys, sometimes it's not working so nice. But right now, I don't think it's really bad. What about the camera, guys? Let me open the camera. All right, closing, opening, closing, opening, closing. Yep. All right, I mean, there is still some wobble there, but you can see it works quite nice. And uh, now I'm gonna open my gallery. Let's open the store as well. All right, now gallery, store, gallery, store. Yeah, let's try to do this with two hands because I'm quick usually, all right? And like, even what I'm doing right now, guys, was absolutely impossible before 1.6.1, I guess. Uh, remember, 1.6.1.1 was uh, released with, I think, the, the Z Flip and the Z Fold. And at that point, Samsung really we're trying to introduce some kind of non-linear animation and it really got better at this. Now finally to a stage where you can open an application and immediately stop it or stop it here. And this wasn't so possible with the previous versions. Even here with the system apps, all right? I can start the dialer and stop it, all right? Messages, dialer, all right? Gallery, store, X, Instagram. Now I am really able to open everything so smoothly without any big starters. I'm getting this nice zoom in and out, right? Sadly, no blur on the wallpaper directly, but I, yeah, I can still get there, I guess, with good luck. What about good luck, guys? Yeah, if you open good luck, of course, a lot of the modules will still not work because they're just not adapted um, for the uh, One UI 8. And, and by the way, I have a few of them. I have Display Assistant. I have also the Camera Assistant. Okay, this thing works. And I do have One UI Home. And One UI Home is not gonna work. But in fact, a lot of the other call modules are gonna work like theme park, right? Like Wonderland, those are things that I've tested in and out in my many previous videos. So far, guys, I do believe that, yeah, I can confirm this is indeed smooth. I mean, you can see I'm just doing this with one hand and one finger. So, I mean, we can really do this all day long. And 
I have a feeling, by the way, that they somehow slow the animations again, maybe just to avoid uh, any unnecessary stutters and just to make it a bit more elastic and more natural when you open them. So this is it here. I'm gonna close everything. All right, where are my notifications? I'm gonna close them as well. And I'll just open it, boom, you can see. It really opens so fast, so organic and so elastic. And I know, I mean, it's not a big deal, guys, but the big deal is that I can really stop this everywhere, right? Directly everywhere. Now, what about this thing here, guys? Okay, this thing here is important as well. All right, it's also very nice and very smooth. Why is that important? Because boom, now I'm able to launch some combinations. Something that is important, and I don't believe it comes from Android 16, is that you can now get really this thing here, right? See here, it changes, and you really get a very big screen. Uh, and your other app runs here, and just with a touch of a screen, you can now cycle and resize dynamically the apps. And by the way, yep, as we can confirm, this thing really works very nice it's not a problem at all it's very very good to see that and now boom just do either like this or if you want of course just go back inside your combo and of course you can always resize it or just go to one or the other application honestly guys from what i see right now yep samsung are definitely going in the right direction oh game booster plus not working and yes i do believe that this build now is running smooth don't forget that it's still a internal test build guys so if you want to play around your bootload is going to get updated from version 4 if you were in the previous run to version 5 and there is no going back until you know like a one year 7 stable uh, version is released with the bootloader version 5 or let's hope very very soon the one year 8 stable guys so let me know what you think down below in the comments what are the new things you would like to see in one year 8 and guys stay safe vst over and bye